My love affair with Clay is the longest relationship I've ever had. I like the slowness of it. I like having to wait for the clay to dry, especially in today's world where everything is so fast paced and was expected to be done yesterday. But I'm also really drawn to clay because of its history, because of the longevity of the material and how it's one of the ways that we've learned about ancient civilizations because there are these old fragments of pottery or clay tablets that have survived for generations. When I was first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, one of my greatest fears was not being able to do art because it is, I mean, clay in particular is physically demanding. And I do have like some numbness in my hands and in my legs. Abort, abort, start over. That fear is still always there. And the fear that I won't be able to do something that I can do today is always there. But it also, is something that drives me, I think, because it makes me want to accomplish things today instead of waiting. During the dark period, right after I was diagnosed, and I was learning everything about MS and I was trying to understand what this diagnosis was and what it meant for me, I started to feel like my entire identity was consumed by MS. But at some point, I started to think, wait a minute, if I'm going to have this for my whole life, then I don't want to spend my whole life being consumed by it. You know, art, the term artist is so loaded, you know, like, well, the term art or love or anything like that. I think it's, it's a decision you make for yourself. That's what I did after my diagnosis, too. I got back involved in art. That was a long time ago, and, so, and I've actually accomplished a lot more since then than I would have ever imagined. And maybe it all started with just deciding to define myself as an artist. That's awesome. Yeah,